And then we went down to the Long Beach Arena, rented out the entire arena, and basically set up the entire staging again. And they got closer shots, which is hard to control in a, in a live situation. Well, on stage, I'm communicating the song to the crowd, and also just every situation in my life that relates to any of the words in the song are going through my head at that particular time. So nobody ever told you, baby, how it was gone. It's quite a challenge to play it live. Uh, it took me you know, a while to learn it. Uh, but it's a great song live, I think. Unless you're in Utah. They don't get it there for some reason. Just kidding. You know, we didn't do it a lot live. We did it earlier on when Izzy was in the band, mainly. And then all of a sudden, uh, I stopped doing it for a while. It's an intense song to do because it's a battle through things, and it's a battle that's not necessarily over yet. You know, it's still in in period of like, will he transcend this or not? I don't know how you're supposed to die. Um, well, playing it live isn't that much fun. <laughs> I mean, it really isn't. It's um, it's a really good song to listen to and everything, but for like a musician to play, I mean, I stop and start a lot in it, you know, just for the part that I play, and I really don't even play that much, just a couple power chords. And there's parts that really gets you going and stuff, you know, you get into it, you go to the front of the stage and stuff, and then you gotta stop. <laughs> You're not gonna take a rest for like about two minutes, you know. <laughs> Since I don't play piano that often or hadn't for the last couple of years, only on, on stage, and starting to now that we're done touring, I don't even know how to play the song anymore. Dizzy plays it. I didn't play on it in the studio. Um, you know, it's pretty much Axe's tune. Um, you know, but I was there when it was being recorded. I do play it live, though. The middle change, like kind of a piano solo area that like you go on stage when I ladies and gentlemen, as you read. That was uh that was really intense to write because it just kept growing and flowing. When I had to learn it, it was like really mind blowing. I had to I had to chart it out. I never do that. And I actually had <laughs> the song taped to the front of my piano, the chords. Right? And so it was like, you know, because I was like really insecure about playing it. You know, because it's all the sudden. On the piano, Mr. Dizzy Reed. Uh, a lot of the guys had problems remembering <laughs> some of the chords and stuff. And it's always scary because even though we all know the song and stuff, it's like if w one person fucks up, we throw everybody off. I mean, I used to go through this little routine like, please get me through strange <laughs> without making a mistake, right? Just one of the songs that I just never really got. And, and we're playing it, and both me and Duff are just just doing the worst job. It's like, I'm trying to watch Duff's hands, Duff is watching my hands, and neither one of us are playing it right. I'd be like, oh, nobody noticed it. Wrong. I'm slash in the dressing room. What he's happened? Like, he's just like screaming, us, get it together, man. <laughs> you guys were going, wow, <laughs> really that bad, huh? We got it together pretty quick, you know, but it was just one of those things. It just sounded like shit. Yeah, Gilby's looked at me. I've looked at Gilby a few times, like, okay, what's up next? I think we're done. Someone tell me differently. Otherwise, I'm leaving.